Hello everybody, thanks for joining me yet again. It's Crips here. So yesterday I announced that I was going to do an uh, uh, interesting video, but unfortunately I couldn't do it because my internet went dead. Hmm. So, uh, instead of t yesterday, it will be done today. Now what is so interesting? Well, yesterday, Video oh, Corral launched Video Studio version 5. That's right, they have just released version 5. And they were kind enough to send me a copy. Not only that, they gave me the ultimate pack, so that's kind of cool. So here it is. So I'm going to do uh, a quick review to see what is so special about fives compared to four. All right, on the onset, everything looks the same, and which is good because I hate it when they do so many changes that it looks so different that it's like learning how to use a software all over again, and that could be quite annoying. You get used to one way and the feel of the software, and then they change it, and you go, oh, my God. All right, but no, they stuck to it. So what is some of the things that they have changed? Is it worth getting version 5? Well, let's have a look. One of the first things I noticed was they increased the overlay track, believe it or not, to 20. That's right, 20. Here we go, 20. So you've got now 20 tracks that you can place over your video track. So you can have, you can come up with some really cool stuff now. Uh, what else? Music track, they've given you three. Title track, two. And video track, obviously, remains at one. So that's kind of cool. Another thing I've noticed, the instant project is no longer here. It uh, can be now accessed through here, and it's very, very easy to do now. you still got to categorize beginning, middle, ending, complete. And all you need to do now is just drop and drag. And voila, there it is. Now you can just change it to whatever you want and have fun with it, I guess. Alright, so that's kind of cool. Just another way of getting to your instant projects a little bit quicker, I guess. Uh, what else? Well, with the Ultimate Pack, unfortunately, uh, they give you the Boris FX like they do in version 4, Mercalli like they did in version 4, but they've also now given you another FX filter called Roto Pen. I'm just going to go to Pro Dad, and you can see it clearly. Roto Pen and Vitacine. And what is that, you may ask? Well, well, let's have a quick look at them. Let's go and pick. Uh, I'm going to pick. I'm going to drop a photo of my wife. And you know what? She's going to have a look at this and go, Oh no, not that picture. Why? Why that picture? Because I like it. That's why. So if you're watching it, I like it. So Vitacine. Now Vitacine is really, really cool. I think I read somewhere that it gives you up to 15,000, <laughs> yes, 15,000 different types of effects you can apply to your to your video. All right, so let's have a, I mean, let's just pick something, it doesn't matter. And then uh, slowly see what the effect is. Because I stretched my photo out slightly, the effect will probably take a little bit to come into play. Any minute now, I hope. Otherwise, I'm going to stand here looking pretty silly. Let's find another one. Oh, well, this one will do. I have no idea what that does, but it looks uh, quite interesting, right? Let's play that again. Here we go. Like I said, I'm just. I haven't really played with this one much, but it gives you uh, quite quite a, uh, an assortment of filters that you can apply. There you go. That's something cool. What's this one? Well, psychedelic. <laughs> anyway, but fear or not, I will do some tutorials on this. I have used it uh, a long time ago. I just haven't played with it for quite a while since uh, Video Studio never had it. All right, that's all right. So let's just get out of this one here again. Uh, what else? Roto Pen. All right, let's clear out the timeline. Let's um, Roto Pen is something really cool. So imagine you went on a holiday and you said, oh, you know, I went from this town to this town and you're putting it all in the video and you want people to see what you did. Well, what the filter can do is basically show a map version of where you've been. Let's say you went from uh, Perth, uh, you went to I don't know, Brisbane and from Brisbane you went to Canberra and then you can apply that and if you play it, you can immediately tell people, oh, I, I went from here to here to here to here. And that's kind of cool. And that just didn't work at all, did it? <laughs> Let's try that again. And this time, 
let's stretch the video out longer than one frame so it might actually work for you. So here we go. So there you go. It's still very fast because I'm still working in less than a second here. And let's try that again. There you go. Now you get to see a little bit better. So there you go. Now you can do that uh, not only with uh, a map, obviously. You can do that with anything. Let's grab this picture again. Let's drop the FX filter. Uh, recently I had somebody ask me, how do I circle somebody in, in a picture? Like I want to highlight that person. Well, you can do that now with Rotate pen. There you go. This is the person we're looking for. <laughs> All right. Anyway, yeah, I'm sure you can have uh, a lot of fun with that. What else is new? Well, uh, with unfortunately again with um, New Blue, they give you this uh, really cool background animator. So let's drop that in. Grab that filter. Double click. Custom. All right, so here's your new blue, and again, it's just really keen or keen special effects that you can add to whatever you want. So I like that. Yeah, that looks corny. Let's do this. So there you go. And that came from the new blue video essentials version five. And uh, I have to be honest, this is actually quite new to me. I've never actually seen this one, and I regularly do go to uh, the website to, to check things out. And everything else, as far as I can see, is the same. The share is still exactly the same as it was before. The settings hasn't changed. It's still the same here. Uh, tools, you still got your paint creator, which is kind of cool. Uh, you do have a DVD wizard, which is kind of cool. Edit. Now again, standard features. File, again, is standard features as well. So apart from uh, the FX filters, uh, the overlay track, everything else seems to be pretty standard. And I also believe they fixed a lot of bugs. Uh, recently, I, I was barraged by a lot of emails claiming that they're, they're, when they're working on a certain project, it would crash. And uh, I even checked the forums, and there was a few people complaining there. And it turns out, if you were using QuickTime version 7 and they updated the QuickTime, it conflicted with a lot of programs, not just Corral. It conflicted with a lot of uh, programs, so it would crash. Now, version 5, it doesn't crash. So if you're using QuickTime version 7, I think they have 7.7 .7 now. I could be wrong. Uh, it doesn't conflict. It doesn't crash. So that's kind of cool. Now, uh, I'm going to go for a shameless plug here. Uh, recently. I launched my very own website. That's right, my very own website. And here it is. It's very basic. Uh, I've got all the tutorials that you see on YouTube uh, here. But what I did basically, I did it um, my very first video right to the current video. Uh, and I categorized as Boris, Corral, uh, yeah, Motion Studio, the two minute ones. So if you're just learning, you can go straight to here and then you can watch it by order and then gives you a good idea or you want to learn something quickly it gives you like tips and tricks or pixelate your movie it immediately goes to that movie and that's kind of cool now if you are interested in buying version 5 then you can do so through my website all you need to do is click on this little picture and it will take you straight to version 5 download now I uh, I would suggest, obviously, try the uh, trial version first. And if you like it, then by all means, go ahead. All right. I hope that uh, a few of you enjoyed this one. And as always, thanks for watching.